When we eat or drink, our intestines select and retain the nutrients that are good for our body. These substances get absorbed into the bloodstream and reach the liver via the portal vein. In the blood, there are white blood cells, red blood cells, platelets, food, and also toxic substances that have bypassed the initial selection. The liver is a vital organ. It has multiple functions. Most interestingly, it is a super cleaner. It filters away all the toxic substances that must not reach the heart, lungs, or brain. If you have portal hypertension, the liver can no longer properly filter or clean the blood. Why is this? Normally, liver cells are ordered in neat rows. When the liver is sick, the cells become disorganized. The cells then exert pressure on the veins that irrigate the liver. This causes the little veins inside the liver to narrow. It is therefore difficult for blood to flow through the liver, increasing the pressure in the portal vein. Problems can also occur at the entrance of the portal vein into the liver. A blood clot called a thrombosis can form, which prevents blood from moving forward. Whether the circulation is blocked at the entrance to the liver or in the liver itself, the blood knows that it can't take its usual route and the body looks for creative solutions. The spleen is a very adaptable organ. It has the ability to absorb a lot of blood and to expand. It stores white blood cells and platelets, but sometimes also red blood cells, causing them to decrease in the blood. New veins form, diverting blood from the liver and back into the general circulation. Fluid, known as ascites, enters the belly, causing it to swell. The danger is that toxic substances not cleaned by the liver might reach the heart, lungs, and even the brain. In addition, these new veins are very fragile. They can rupture and bleed. So we have to take action. Medication helps reduce the amount of ascites in the belly, but has little effect on the fragile veins. So an endoscope, a long tube with a camera, can be fed into the esophagus and small elastic bands are used to strangle these fragile veins, also known as varicose veins. The veins are blocked off, reducing the risk of the veins bursting. After a few days, the elastic bands leave the body. If the medication does not reduce the ascites in the belly enough, we can carry out a paracentesis. All that's needed is a small prick through the skin of the belly so as to insert a catheter and take out the troublesome fluid. In order to solve the liver problem permanently, we have two options. If the blockage is in the liver, a liver transplant can be performed to replace the sick liver with a new healthy liver. There are now more white and red blood cells and platelets in the blood, so the fragile veins no longer need to be used. If the blockage is at the entrance to the liver in the portal vein, surgeons create a shunt, a new path, thus avoiding the obstacle and allowing the blood to reach the liver where it circulates normally. You now know everything, or almost everything, about portal hypertension and how to treat it.